Hello everyone, this is Vishwas and welcome back to our YouTube channel Frontend Tales. This is second video of our React 19 series and in this video we will understand one of the React 19 improvements and that is no more use of forward rep. Until React 18 we are using rep to directly access the DOM element or the React component instance and if you want to pass that rep from your parent functional component to child functional component then that is not directly possible to achieve that we need to wrap our component around the forward rep and then we are able to pass our rep from parent functional component to child component but that is not case with react 19 anymore and we don't need to use the extra layer that is forward rep at the part of this video we will start our discussion with react 18 we will understand what is rep what is forward rep how to use them and how exactly implement them in your react application and then we will understand how exactly forward rep is not required anymore in react 19 and how we can pass rep directly as a props from your parent functional component to child functional component first let's understand what is rep and forward rep and then we will understand them with the help of practical implementation when we talk about the rep in react rep is a way to directly access a dom element or a react component from your code that means we need to access DOM element for multiple reasons. We could have a HTML form and need to focus some input element. And for that, we will require rep. Then we might need to trigger the scroll or animation. And for that, we have to reference that particular DOM element by using rep and then we can add the animation or some scrolling around that also we might need to do some reading or writing the values directly on the dom element and that is done with the help of reps and as i mentioned there is a one problem with rep you cannot pass rep as a props to your child component directly unless you explicitly tell that to react and to achieve that we are using forward rep when we talk about the forward reps react provides the forward rep it will enable the functional components to receive the rep from their parent components and we can pass them down to the dom element i think that's all about the initial theory part now we will move to the vs code and first we will understand rep and forward rep with the help of react 18 and then we will understand the same implementation with react 19 so for implementation let's move to the vs code in vs code i have created a very simple react application this application will have couple of input elements and we will see how exactly we can use rep and forward rep here first let me go to the package.json here we are using react 18 then at root level we have main.jsx and from here we are importing the form component the form component is present in the components folder and we have very simple form here i just have the h1 heading and then i have a form element here and a couple of input elements the first one is username then we have a email and then i have a submit button and when i click on that submit button we are basically calling the submit handler function and currently we are doing nothing here and if i go to the chrome we will see the application here i have username as an input email as an input and then i have a submit button now we will add a couple of validation on this form that means if my username is empty and uh, suppose my email address do not have a at the red sign then whatever field is invalid we will focus our input element and that is handle with the help of reps 
first let's understand them with the help of reps and then we will see how exactly we can use forward rep here for that let me go to the vs code and here i will import use rep from react if you are not familiar with the use rep use rep hook provided by react to create the rep and referencing the dom element first let me create the username rep initially it will be a null and then i will create the email rep here and then i will go to respective input element and then i will refer them here ref equal to and then we have a uh, username right? and same we will do for email let's save the changes and now when i click on this submit button i will access those reps here in handle submit we can add the required validation first let me access the username and uh, for that we need to use the rep here our rep will be the user name rep then we need to access the current property from it and then we have a value property whatever value we are adding in the username input field that will be accessible here same we will do for email and for that we will use the email rep dot current dot value and now we will add our validation first we will check if username is not present we simply need to focus our username input element first let me check if username is not available then what i will do i will simply use the username ref then we will access its current property and we will call the focus method yeah let's save the changes and now if you go to the browser when i click on submit we will see my input element is empty and that is highlighted and that is the purpose of rep we can access the dom element directly by using reps here now if i type something and then click on submit you will don't see focus anymore and now same validation we can add on the email address but instead of checking for empty email address what we will check that email address should have the at the rate character and the adding the validation is simple we just need to check the email and then use the include method and with includes method we can just check the at the rate symbol if at the rate symbol is present then we are good but if at the rate symbol is not present we will get our email rep then we will access its current property and then we will call the focus method here now in both the cases to avoid the form submission we can use the return here same in second case and if everything is good we will just fill in the alert message form submitted successfully let's save the changes and if i go to the browser and directly click on the submit you will see the username is empty and that's why the focus is on input element i have added something here and now when i click on submit you will see the email address is focus now and in this case our form is not submitted let me add some valid email address at least our email address should have at the rate sign and now when i click on submit you will see alert message here that means form submitted successfully and this is how we can use rep to access any of the dom element in our functional component hope you are clear with how exactly we can use the rep let me tweak this code little bit if you come down and look at here we have some duplicate code right here we have a label and then we have a input element similarly we have the label and then we have the input element but in this case we can create a separate generic input component and uh, from our parent component we can pass the necessary props to it and uh, based on props that component should work so that we can avoid this repetition here we only have two input element but we can have the n number of input element and uh, in this case we can create one generic input component and uh, instead of directly using rep here right we can pass that rep to that child component 
and uh, then our validation should work as expected so first let me create one more component here and uh, that component name could be input here you can see input is in capital let me paste some content here the input component is really simple we are just accepting the label and the remaining props here and then we are returning label and that input element let's save the changes i will import that input element here it is input and from dot slash my input component we will copy this component and use it down here instead of input we will use input here and the same here and we need to pass label as a prop to it let me remove this label as well and uh, we will remove this second label as well if you save the changes and go to the browser you will see our ui is showing as expected but when i click on this submit button now validations are not working anymore and now let's understand why that is happening here you might be thinking that we are passing the label props and uh, we also have reps props here right we will go to the input component and uh, we will take that rep as a props here and uh, then we will pass that rep to your input element rep equal to rep now here i am passing rep as a props and uh, adding that rep on the input element and uh, if you save these changes and go to the browser and click on submit button you will see your validations are still not working and uh, that is due to problem with reps you cannot pass rep directly as a props to functional component now we have a parent component we are managing rep in the parent component and here we are passing reps to your child component as a props and in child component we are trying to access that prop and assigning it to the input rep and that is not allowed at least until react 18 if you want to pass rep as a props then we need to handle that in different way and that's when forward reps comes in picture forward rep enables a functional component to receive the prep from their parents and pass them down to the required dom element and the changes are simple we just need to import the forward rep from react then we need to use that forward rep and wrap it around your component i have used it here finally i need to close my component and then instead of passing it as a props we need to pass it as a second parameter to your forward rep that means i have forward rep here and initially i need to pass all the required props and rep i need to pass as a second parameter and now i can reference them to the required dom element if i save the changes and go to the browser and click on submit you will see our validations are working as expected again if i use the test here and then click on submit you will see focus is on on email now because we need to provide the valid email address let me add the valid email address or at least email address should contain at the rate sign and now when i click on submit you will see our form is submitted successfully and uh, this is how we can use the rep and forward rep to see the required dom element or forward that rep to child component and then access the child component dom hope you are clear with how exactly we can use the rep and forward rep in react 18 and now let's understand same example with react 19 and then we will understand how exactly forward rep is not required anymore with react 19 i will go with the similar project if i go to the package.json we have react 19 version here and the rest of the things are same we have main.jsx and if you go to the component we have form.jsx here and we are doing couple of validations when we click on the submit button the first validation will be with username and the second one is with email address and now if i go to the child component 
that is input component and till now we are using forward rates here and if you look at application it should work as expected because adding the forward rep in react 19 is not restricted but that is not required anymore our validations are still working but now let me remove that forward rep completely first let me remove that import then we will remove this forward rep here and now we don't require this rep here instead of passing the second parameter we can pass it directly as a props here let save the changes and now if you go to the browser and refresh the page and click on submit button you will still see our validations are working as expected let me add username here and now click on submit button you will see the email address is not valid and uh, let me add at least at the rate symbol there so that it will validate our email address and now when i click on submit our form is successfully submitted and now we are passing reps here without forward rep with react 19 we don't require forward rep to pass the rep to our child component and that is handled by react 19 itself now and uh, with this feature react 19 provide us some advantages the first advantage is we don't require extra forward rep and uh, our code is much cleaner this is the code with react 18 where we need to use the forward rep and then pass rep as a second parameter but uh, if you look at the same code with react 19 we will no longer needed the forward rep and it add the consistency right whatever props we are passing to our child component same way we can pass the rep as well and it will also reduce the overhead right when we are using the forward rep we necessarily add to add one more extra wrapper around our component the third advantage is when we are going with typescript we need to add the necessary types and adding the types of forward rep will be uh, verbose or a little bit messy and that is not case anymore and last point it will help us to improve the performance slightly because we will be avoiding the unnecessary function nesting and it will help us in the improvement of rendering and memory usage it is minor but it will definitely impact when we are going with large applications i hope you are clear with all the details i think that's all for this video this was second video of our react 19 series and in the next video we will explore few more react 19 interesting concept let me push all this code to github and i will share the link of that implementation of react 18 and react 19 in the video description I think that's all for this video. Finally, if you are enjoying my content, please like it. You can comment me if you need any help on specific topic. Please share with your friends so that it will reach to more people. And uh, you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get the latest video alerts. Thank you for watching and see you in next one. Till now, thank you. Bye.